Experiment number 43, Psychic Awakening. The experiment we will now engage in is extremely important as it forms the basis of psychic projection. You should therefore give it all your attention and practice it regularly during the next several weeks and months. As you will note, it resembles what was given you in the second atrium, although with some differences in the order given to the various procedures. Moreover, it has a somewhat different objective. Sit upright with your back straight, your hands on your knees and your feet slightly separated, flat on the ground. If you prefer, you may lie down on a bed, with your legs slightly separated and your arms alongside your body. When you are in the proper position, close your eyes and take deep positive breaths while concentrating on the psychic counterparts of your feet. As soon as you feel a tingling or prickling sensation in this part of your body, proceed in the same way with your ankles, your lower legs, your knees, your thighs, your abdomen, the lower part of your chest, your hands, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows, and your arms. Continue this psychic awakening while concentrating on your head, your neck, your shoulders, and the upper part of your chest. Continue your positive deep breathing throughout this concentration and strive to feel the life and consciousness which animate the various parts of your body. As soon as you have the clear impression that your whole being is vibrating due to the effect of your deep breathing, concentrate all your psychic consciousness in the area of the thymus, that is, in the middle of your upper chest. While maintaining this concentration, intone the vowel sound EHM seven times on whatever note seems most natural to you and continue the intonation as long as possible. The EH should be a pure, prolonged vowel, rather like the way, in aim, and that M should also be prolonged like this, e e e e m m m m At the end of this intonation, remain in this state of psychic awakening for several minutes and then bring the exercise to a close. The aim of this exercise is to stimulate your psychic body and to concentrate its activity in the thymus since the psychic counterpart of this gland plays a key role in projection. In fact, during this process the psychic body separates from the physical body and the silver cord extends into space from this location. As for the vowel sound EHM, it is particularly effective for stimulating the thymic center, this stimulation being essential at the moment of projection. However, it possesses other properties which we shall study near the end of this degree. In the next lesson, we shall discuss the technique used when attempting psychic projection. In the meantime, practice the exercise you have just been given once or twice every day and note the effects that it produces in you. With all best wishes for peace profound. Sincerely and fraternally, your class master Neptune. Practical application. As was just mentioned, the exercise presented in this monograph is especially important in that it constitutes the preparatory exercise for psychic projection. Try your utmost to put it into practice twice a day during the next week, ideally in the morning just after awakening and in the evening just before falling asleep. You can decide for yourself afterwards how often you wish to make use of the exercise so as to obtain the best results. Moreover, remember that all work of this sort must be undertaken in moderation, for any excess will always defeat the desired objective. You may find that, for various reasons, you cannot intone the vowel sound EHM aloud while pursuing this exercise. In this case, intone it softly or mentally. As you will soon learn, the mystical power of a vowel sound is not restricted to the acoustic resonance produced by its intonation, in that it also has an intrinsic value which is spiritual in nature. Thus, when using this exercise in preparing for projection, what is most important is stimulating your psychic body and concentrating its activity in the area of the thymus. If you are successful in this endeavor, you will feel in this part of the body an agreeable impression, generally accompanied by a sensation of warmth or freshness. Summary of this monograph Below is a summary of the important principles of this monograph. It contains the essential statements which you should not forget. After you have carefully read the complete monograph, 
Try to recall as many as you can of the important points you read. Then read this summary and see if you have forgotten any. Also refer to this summary during the ensuing week to refresh your memory. From a Rosicrucian viewpoint, psychic projection designates the faculty that allows projection of the psychic body out of the physical body in such a way as to place oneself in consciousness on a plane transcending that of matter. If most of the techniques suggested for engaging in astral travel are based solely on psychological principles, such techniques can be dangerous, for they induce experiences that verge on self-hypnosis. As practiced by the Rosicrucians, psychic projection involves no danger whatsoever and may be approached without the slightest hesitation. It can have no negative effect, whether physical or mental. Psychic projection does not involve any separation of the soul from the physical body, for such a separation would inevitably result in death. When we are in a state of projection, our psychic body is always connected to our physical body by means of a subtle link which is called the silver cord in our teachings. This cord can extend to infinity, which explains why it is possible for one to appear psychically a considerable distance from the place where one is physically. If when we become conscious of the place we perceive psychically, we have the sensation of seeing and hearing as realistically as though we saw and heard what was happening there by means of our objective faculties. No other psychic body can take the place of ours when we project, for the silver cord makes such a substitution impossible. The primary advantage of psychic projection is that it takes us in consciousness to the very place we are thinking of. Thus, it is possible to go from one place to another with the speed of thought. All one needs to do is wish for it to happen.